Hi, Casa Lake. This book is called Throw Your Tooth on the Roof. I know some of you are starting to lose your teeth. This is a book about how people handle that all over the world. This book is by Selby Beeler and it's illustrated by G. Brian Karras. Throw your tooth off th on the roof. Tooth traditions from around the world. Has this ever happened to you? You find a loose tooth in your mouth. Yikes! You can wiggle it with a finger. You can push it back and forth with your tongue. Then one day it falls out. There you are, with your old baby tooth in your hand and a big hole in your mouth. It happens to everyone, everywhere, all over the world. Look, look, my tooth fell out, my tooth fell out. But what happens next? What in the world do you do with your tooth? Well, if you are in North America, here are some of the things that you do. In the United States, I put my tooth under my pillow. While I'm sound asleep, the tooth fairy will come into my room, take my tooth, and leave some money in its place. In Canada, at night, I put my tooth under my pillow and wait for the tooth fairy. In Mexico, when I go to sleep, I leave my tooth in a box on the bedside table. I hope that El Raton, the magic mouse, will take my tooth and bring me some money. He leaves more money for a front tooth. Native Americans. My mother wraps my tooth in a food like meat or bread. Then I feed it to a female dog and say, replace this tooth with a better one. It, in the yellow knife Diné, my mother or grandmother takes my tooth and puts it in a tree. And then my family dances around it. This makes certain that my new tooth will grow in straight as a tree. Navajo. My mother saves my tooth until my mouth stops hurting. Then we, t make, we take my tooth to the southeast away from our house. We bury the tooth on the east side of a healthy young sagebrush, rabbit brush, or pinion tree because we believe that east is the direction associated with childhood. Here's what they do in parts of Central America and the Caribbean. In Costa Rica, my mother takes my tooth and has it painted or plated with gold and made into an earring for me to wear. In the Dominican Republic, I throw my tooth on the roof of my house so a mouse can come take it away and bring me a better one. Sometimes I get money when I do this. In El Salvador, I put my tooth under my pillow. My father says that during the night a rabbit will come. It will take my tooth and leave me some money. In Guatemala, I put my tooth under my pillow and wait for El Raton to leave me some money. In Haiti, I throw my tooth on the roof and I say, rat, 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 I give you a beautiful tooth. Send me back an old tooth. I say the opposite of what I really mean to trick the crafty rat into giving me what I really want. In Jamaica, at night, after my tooth falls out, the rolling calf comes rattling chains to take me and my tooth away. I put my tooth in a tin can and shake it hard. The noise keeps the rolling calf away. South America. In Argentina, I put my tooth in a glass of water. During the night, a little mouse called El Rat Ratoncito will come and drink all the water, take my tooth, and leave me some coins or candy in the empty glass. In Brazil, my mother tells me to throw my tooth outside and say this poem. 
Lovely birds, dear birds, take away this tooth of mine and bring another one to me. The birds only take clean teeth, so I must brush my teeth every day. I also live in Brazil, but I throw my tooth out of the window onto the roof and say, St. John, St. John, take this rotten tooth and give me a healthy one. In Colombia, I put my tooth under my pillow and wait for a mouse called El Raton Miguelito to take my tooth and leave money in its place. In Venezuela, I put my tooth under my pillow. While I am asleep, a mouse will take the tooth and bring me some coins. In Chile, I give my tooth to my mother. She will have it made into a charm, set in gold or silver, so I can wear it as a necklace or an earring. <clears throat> this is in Africa, the mid and southern regions. In Cameroon, I throw my tooth on the roof, shouting, take this bad tooth and bring me a new one. Then I hop around my house on one foot and everyone laughs. In Botswana, I throw my tooth on the roof and say, Mr. Moon, Mr. Moon, please bring me a new tooth. In Mali, I throw my tooth in the chicken coop. The next day I might find a big fat hen in the coop and my mother will make chicken soup. In Benin, if I lose an upper tooth, I throw it on the roof. If I lose a lower tooth, I dig a hole and bury it in the ground. My grandmother says that if a lizard sees my tooth, a new one will not grow, so I am careful to keep it hidden until it is buried. In Nigeria, I hold my tooth in my fist with eight stones to make a total of nine. A girl will hold six stones in her tooth to make seven. Next, I close my eyes, say my name out loud, count to the number in my fist and say, oh, I want my tooth back. Then I throw them and run away. It is very important to run away. I don't know why, that's all it says. In Uganda, I leave my tooth behind a pot along the path the rats use. The next day, my tooth will be gone and I will find money in that pot. Some rats are poorer than in South Africa. My tooth in a slipper in my room. A mouse will come, take my tooth, and leave me a gift. My sister is afraid of mice, so she left her slipper outside her door. The mouse left her a present anyway. In North Africa and the Middle East, here's what they do. In Egypt, I wrap my tooth in some cotton or tissue and take it outside. I say, shining sun, shining sun, take this buffalo's tooth and bring me a bride's tooth. Then I throw the tooth high up at the eye of the sun. Hmm. The Arabic word for bride is arusa, which also means a candy or sweet. I wonder if they're hoping for candy instead of a tooth. Hmm. In Morocco, I put my tooth under my pillow when I go to bed. The next morning I must rise with the sun and throw my tooth toward the sun while I say, I give you a donkey's tooth and I ask you to replace it with a gazelle's tooth. Otherwise, I might get donkey teeth. In Libya, I throw my tooth at the sun and say, bring me a new tooth. My father tells me that I have a bright smile because my teeth come from the sun. In Mauritania, my parents tell me to wrap my tooth in a small piece of cloth and throw it as hard as I can onto the roof of my house. If I get it up very, or if I get up very early the next morning, I will find a rooster on the roof and I can keep him. If I don't awake early enough, I won't find the rooster. In Lebanon, I throw my tooth into the sea or field and say, oh son, oh son, take this mouse's tooth and give me a gold tooth. 
in Oman. I face the sun and throw my tooth as far as I can while I say, Oh, mighty sun, take this tooth, play with it, and do not forget to bring it back. In Turkey, if my parents want me to grow up to graduate from school, they might bury my tooth in the garden of the university. If they hope I will become a doctor, they bury it in the garden of a hospital. Or they could bury it in a soccer field, so I will be a good soccer player. In Europe. In Greece, I throw my tooth on the roof for good luck and make a wish so that my teeth will grow strong and healthy. In Denmark, I put my tooth under my pillow at night and wait for the tooth fairy called Tandfeen to take my tooth and leave me some money. In England, when I go to sleep, I put my tooth under my pillow and wait for the tooth fairy to come. In France, I put my tooth under my pillow a mouse, la petite souris, will come to take it and leave a gift for me. In Germany, I don't do anything special with my tooth. In Sweden, I put my tooth in a glass of water. In the morning, my tooth will be gone and a coin will be in the glass. Spain. I tuck my tooth under my pillow. While I'm asleep, the little mouse called Ratoncito Perez will take my tooth and leave me money or candy in return. In Eastern Europe and North and Central Asia. In Georgia, I throw my tooth high up on the roof of my house and I say, Mouse, mouse, take away my spoiled tooth and send me back a strong, healthy one. In Kazakhstan, I drop my tooth under the bathtub and say, Mouse, mouse, bring me a new tooth, please. We don't have any mouse in our apartment, but I do it anyway. In Kyrgyzstan, I roll my tooth in bread and give it to an animal, preferably to a mouse because they have healthy, sharp white teeth that grow quickly. If I feed it to a dog, I might get ugly yellow dog teeth. In Moldova, I throw my tooth on the roof of the house and say, Crow, crow, coming from the mill, I am giving you a milk tooth. Now you give me a bone one. In Russia, my mother said to put my tooth in a mouse hole in the ground. In Tajikistan, I sow my teeth in the fields, and they grow up to be warriors. In Lithuania, I keep my tooth as a keepsake. Southern Asia. In Afghanistan, I drop my tooth inside a mouse hole, saying, take my dirty old tooth and give me a small clean one instead. In Bangladesh, I throw my tooth on a mouse. Oh, sorry, not on a mouse. I throw my tooth in a mouse or rat hole and hope the mice will give me back strong white teeth like theirs. I usually get a present when I do this. In India, I throw my tooth on the roof and ask the sparrow to bring me a new one. In Nepal, my mother and father say that if a crow or a bird sees my tooth, sees or eats my tooth, a new one won't come in. So I bury my tooth in the garden and cover it with soil. Or I might cover the tooth with cow dung or mud and throw it on the roof so that it will be hidden. In Pakistan, I wrap my tooth in cotton. At sunset, I go to the river and I throw my tooth in the water. It will bring me good luck. If the, no river is nearby, I will throw it in a good sight like a garden. In Sri Lanka, I close my eyes and say, Squirrel, squirrel, take this tooth and give me a new one. Then I throw the tooth on the roof and run into the house without looking. In Southeast Asia, Malaysia, I bury my tooth because it's a part of my body and it needs to be returned to the earth. 
In Cambodia, if I lose a lower tooth, I throw it on the roof. If I lose an upper tooth, I put it under the bed. My parents tell me that the new tooth will grow towards the old one and come in straight. Indonesia. I throw my tooth backwards over the roof. My mother says I must throw it very straight so that my new tooth will grow in straight. In the Philippines, I hide my tooth in a special place and make a wish. A year later, if I can still find my tooth, I can make another wish. Oh, I like that one. In Singapore, I throw my lower teeth straight up to the roof so that my new teeth will also grow straight up. I throw my upper teeth straight down to the ground. If I throw them slanted, my new tooth might, throw, might grow in slanted. In Thailand, my sisters and brothers tell me to throw my lower tooth on the roof and put my upper tooth under my bed or on the ground. In Vietnam, I throw my lower tooth on the roof and throw my upper tooth under the bed. East Asia. In China, I put my upper tooth at the foot of my bed and my bottom tooth on the roof. My parents say that it will make my new tooth grow in faster. I put my upper tooth on the ground and my lower tooth on the roof. My new tooth will be pulled in the opposite direction and will grow in quickly. In Japan, if I lose an upper tooth, I throw it in the dirt. If I lose a lower tooth, I throw it on the roof. My new tooth will grow toward the old one and will come in straight. In Korea, I throw my tooth on the roof and say, Blackbird, Blackbird, my old tooth I give to you. Bring me a new tooth. In Taiwan, I throw my tooth on the roof. Australia and New Zealand. In Australia, I put my tooth under my pillow and wait for the tooth fairy to take my tooth and bring me some money. In Aboriginal Australia, my family helps me put my tooth inside the shoot of a pandanus plant so that when the pandanus grows into a tree, my tiny tooth will grow too. There are spirits in the pandanus leaves that will look after me while my tooth is growing. The Maori people in New Zealand do this. I put my tooth under my pillow. My parents will collect the tooth and give me a small gift. Then they will throw my tooth into the mighty river, the Waikato. My tribe is named after the river. Teeth fall out every day, all over the world. What do you do with yours? There we go. Thank you for listening. <laughs>